Hey Miguel, this is Mitch. I'm uh, just going to shoot you that quick video that we talked about on Facebook with uh, three tips to get more clients online. So we'll take a look at your website and then three of your competitors' websites, see what they're doing and how you can beat them and get more clients online. So the first thing we'll talk, we're going to talk about content, backlinks, and citations. So we'll get started with content. Google likes to see about a thousand words of content on a home page. Um, so definitely want to add a little bit more content in there, especially with the right keywords. Um, and we'll talk about those keywords in a minute. So we'll take a look at some of your competition. Um, you know, they have a little bit of content hidden in here too. Um, but not anything that crazy. Uh, definitely just want to get a word count on that and then however much they have, you know, beat them and get more content than them. Um, and also Google can read pictures as content. So you want to make sure you're saving it as not, you know, DSC 0006 min min. You want to save it as those keyword intent phrases. Um, so that Google can read that as well. Looks like they've got a little bit of content still. I think if you put a thousand words on your homepage, you're going to have more than enough to beat, um, beat all of them. Uh, so the next thing we'll talk about is backlinks. So all a backlink is, is a link from one website to another website. And when you link the websites together, they pass power back and forth. So not all backlinks are created the same. You want to go after those high power websites to get your backlinks from. Uh, this is Arif's, one of the paid tools that I use. And they rank their websites with UR and DR. Uh, you want these two right here to be as close together as possible and as high as possible. Um, I see that you have five backlinks from one website. Um, either that website has no power or by seeing no data in both of these, um, it makes me think that you might not have your website registered on Google Search Console because um, you're also not ranking for any keywords right now. Uh, so we'll take a look at some of your competition. So the Cacti Landscape. Uh, they have a pretty powerful website. They have, you know, 2,200 backlinks from 746 different websites. Uh, the good thing is, is we can actually go in and take a look and see where they're getting all of their backlinks from and find the powerful ones and get those same backlinks. And if it put them on the first page of Google, it'll put you on the first page of Google as well. Um, the NV Landscapes LLC. 129 backlinks, a little bit more powerful of a website. Um, and then landscaping.vegas, 226 backlinks, pretty powerful website. Um, so now we'll kind of take a look at some of those keywords and kind of just show you what all that work will do for you. So this column right here is the, the search terms that are searched on Google. This column right here is the average monthly search volume. And this column right here is the KD or the keyword difficulty. Uh, it's ranked on a scale of 0 to 100, 0 being the easiest, 100 being the hardest. Um, and that just tells us how hard and how long it's going to take to rank for these keywords. So you can see here, uh, Landscaping Las Vegas is searched on average 2,000 times a month. Um, they're in the second position for that keyword, and they're getting an average of 176 clicks a month on it. Um, and the best thing to do, really, is just find the high volume, low KD keywords. And those are going to be the ones that are going to be the easiest to rank for. Um, and those, these keywords that you decide you want to rank for are the ones that you're going to want to put on your website in the content, uh, save your pictures as it. And once you get that in your content, you can push those powerful backlinks to your website. And when you have a powerful website with the right keywords in it, then you're going to start ranking for all of these keywords as well. Um, and it really just takes time to go through and kind of just see, you know, what keywords you want to rank for. So uh, he's in the first position for landscaping Las Vegas and gets 484 clicks a month. Um, Las Vegas landscaping, landscapers, Las Vegas, 450 times a month. And being in the second spot, he's getting 68 clicks a month on his website. Um, so you can see that when you get the right keywords and you start ranking for them, you get a lot more traffic on your website and you're going to get a lot more clients from that. Um, the last thing we'll talk about is citations. If you were to search landscaping companies, Las Vegas on Google, this map pack right here is going to pop up and how you rank up high in the map pack is you have 
your Google My Business completely optimized. So you want to make sure that you have a lot of good reviews, uh, more pictures than everyone else, and they're going to give you 750 characters for a description. Um, I'm, they aren't even using it in on that one. Um, so you definitely want to use all 750 characters of the description um, right here. See, they're only using, you know, three words. Uh, you want to use all 750 characters in that right there. Uh, and then you can go after your citations. And all a citation is, is name, address, phone number listed in as many online directories as possible. That's like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and places like that. A lot of times they're also going to give you a spot for a backlink as well. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone and go after citations to rank in the map pack and then also get uh, backlinks so that way you can rank organically in the search engines. Uh, if you have any questions or you need help implementing any of this, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help.